Hey, what's up everyone? Mark King here. I'm going to do three quick stories. I'm going to try to tie them together. So this is NASCAR rally driver Darren Cicerelli. Says he'll quit after Confederate flag ban again. This is pride, okay? They'll try to, uh, again, what they always do, they'll try to turn everything into the ism or phobia, okay? So this is pride to the South. This The South had bravery, you know. Now, you know, people want to associate, like, what's going on here? Right? The lunatics want to associate failure of the black community to racism and they'll try to tie anything in. But always think this is a, um, some people are more useful tools of the communists than others, right? Always think this is a communist propaganda, right? They're going to move to the flags. They're going to move to the statues. Eventually, they'll come for the American uh, flag itself because it's racist. The greatest country ever existed is, is the most racist country. <laughs> this is from China, by the way. Can you believe that? And these are woke leftists who seem to be serving the communists. Some of them intentionally so. Anyway, this is what he. This is a hero, right? Let me see if they have a picture of the guy here. Hero, right? So what's what is hero? Is me stand up against the majority, essentially the woke majority. This is a hero. You know, heroes don't go along with the mob. They go against the mob. Okay? This, this, this. Okay, so the story is, um, Rissa Sorelli, a part-time NASCAR truck series driver, just found a dubious way to make a name for himself. Oh, well, this is going to be a biased article. This is by, um, the Huff Post. This is by Ron Dicker. Oh, shoot, that's an appropriate name. He does look like a Dicker. Um, in the since deleted but the screen captured Facebook post, Cicerelli said he could care less about the Confederate flag, but uh, but are people that do and it doesn't make them racist. Absolutely. See, that's it. I'm a brown person, right? And I hate any part of history to be destroyed because history is kind of like art. Again, and all these things are meant to try to explain, hey, uh, why is this group doing poorly and this group can't? You know, well, why are Asians succeeding and blacks can't? You know, why a woman this and why a man that? That's all it is. This is just shifting the goalposts and blaming things such as uh, the Confederate flag. Again, to me, it's art. Okay, you never destroy art. You know, this is all saying if you um, destroy history, don't repeat it. Maybe it's appropriate. Anyway, I'm tying it to this Nigel Farage, right? So Nigel Farage was probably the main head of the um, the Brexit party. Brexit where basically uh, Britain wants its independence essentially from the European Union. Anyway, he leaves the radio station. He didn't leave, right? He was forced out, I think, because he basically told the truth about the Black Lives Matter. Again, the truth is now um, kind of not appreciated anymore. It's partially a feminized culture, you know. How you, again, you have to tell a woman that she's not getting fat; she's prettier than she really is. <laughs> yeah, and this is where this is why again, a feminized culture is very bad. Okay. The Nigel Farage show aired five days a week on Wednesday. He told listeners he would be back on usual as, as Thursday, but schedule now has been changed. A Farage uh, contract is up shortly, and following discussions with him, Nigel stepped down again. What really happened? He says some stuff about the the BLMs, and uh, I'm going to read into this now. He was told not to come back earlier than he should have. Okay. Again, this this communist machine, it's 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 really evil. It's it's again, but you see them shifting gears from the woman to the blacks, right? There's there's not a people but feminism after three years, right? I've heard zero things about feminism in the past. I would say two weeks, because they're going heavy against the uh, well, the hope going heavy. For and against the blacks, right? Um, what I think is going ahead, they see the blacks shifting towards Donald Trump, so they want to get that um, that ninety that ninety plus percent that vote for the left. They want that back. That's my theory behind what's going on here. Why it's such a big push for a lie? Once again, I'll keep saying it. The guy is a criminal who got uh, who got killed. Sorry, he he he, he died because of um, drugs in his system. And his heart was his heart just gave out because the drugs insisted. That's essentially it. Then he was fighting with the cops. Okay, I'm gonna tie it to one more article because it's been covered to death. I really want to do it. 
again, all this ties into the Confederate flag, the statues, you know, going with the wind and the number. Okay, so essentially HBO Max or HBO, I don't watch TV like I said. I don't even know if this is if this is, this is even current anymore. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, so the blacklist is going with the wind. What they're probably going to do is going to have a... Um, now, I have this friend who's telling me what they did with... Um, Oh, I forgot what movie or, or Looney Tunes, whatever it was, where they have this um, trigger warning at the beginning, where it's like this was the part of, of the bad part of history, so it 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 it, it wasn't like it again. The whole push for progressiveness, I hate that ideology. It's like insulting the past, right? You know, great things happen in the past. People always think they're always superior from the um, from the generation that came before them. It's probably not so. Just look at the rec- the marriage rates. <laughs> you know, look at the uh, childless births. That tells you everything you need to know about current culture, right? We've probably peaked in in terms of uh, great cultures probably since the '60s, and we've just been a downhill um, slide. Yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna do this because everybody's done this to death. Why bother? Now, Go With the Wind is not my type of movie, but I recognize it was a good movie. You know, like, there are a lot of movies that I'm like, oh, that's really, that, that's not my type of movie. But I mean, some of people might think it's good. But I would never sit down for two plus hours to watch Go With the Wind again, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Although, I, I will say, I like look, I look, looking at things in the past. So I like seeing what the background is, the scene, how the people dress, how the people carry themselves. It's always quite interesting, you know. It's always appreciative, you know, like. Like more natural makeup than what's done today, where it's just like everything's like terrible, like less um less CGI. No, sorry, zero CGI. You know, things like this is always appealing to the eye. Again, your eye can basically tell CGI from non CGI. Okay, right? People want to say it's easy to trick the eye. It's actually really difficult to trick the eye. Eventually, your eye catches on. Okay, your eye and your brain. Sorry, your brain and your eye it catches on. Okay, it can decipher reality. Anyway, I'll leave that here. This is wrong. The fact that again they're going after everything, like everything that's um, holy, they'll try to go after. You know, anything that offends that um, that ninety percent voting block, they're gonna go after. Okay. Right. Again, this is what happens when you eliminate men from the community. Sometimes it's their own doing, but again, households led by women are very self-destructive. Okay, they tend to be over emotional, just like the woman, and they end up with a, a disaster like this. All right, uh, take care, share, save, subscribe. I'm going to leave this here, you know. This was by Charlie Sterling. I read too much for his article. This is Gone with the Wind, number one the bestseller on Amazon after HBO Blacklist. Again, people are getting these things simply because um, you don't know if Gone with the Wind will be available in its current format. Well, you know, look at the, the CGI of the, 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 the black woman who won the, uh, well, she won the Emmy or the Oscar. I don't really watch the awards. It's one of those, okay? She won one of them. The first black woman to ever win it. Anyway, that's it. I'll leave that here. Share, share, save, subscribe, thumbs up. Bye.